Hello and welcome to the Technological Educator, where we provide you with logical instruction for the technology-driven classroom. Today, we will be teaching you how to create index cards in Microsoft Word. I'm sure I don't need to explain what an index card is. I'm sure many of us have used them throughout elementary school, middle school, high school, college, or wherever we've gone professionally or in our education. But index cards are still a big thing used today and you know, they're shown to help students understand uh, information more in the classroom. Now there are many benefits and different types of uses of uh, creating index cards in the classroom through Microsoft Word. Students can use them as study materials so rather than having your students draw or write on the index cards with pencils or colored pencils they can create their index cards on a computer. Gives them access to the internet, typing, clip art, and many other resources. Students who may have the ability to use a keyboard or a computer through an IEP or 504 can type up their index cards on a computer and use Microsoft Word. This can help alleviate frustration for it when it comes time for having to read their own handwriting. The students can also go and set the fonts to, and sizes of the words to things that will benefit their learning styles. A big one I think is really cool is it's for digital filing. How many times as teachers have we had to go and recopy notes for students when they've lost something? Students can type up their words on index cards and keep them on their computer so they can print them off as needed. As teachers we can provide typed up index cards to parents through any online education provider we might use or we can even email them to students, email them, email them to our parents and students. And as teachers we can even keep them by keep them with us from year to year, year, to year so that say we lose them ourselves we still have them or if we need to change something down the road we have the ability to do so. We can use index cards for their durability purposes. If you're trying to give directions to maybe a game, activity, or station, you can type the directions onto the index card so they're in a much more durable format, harder to tear, easier to keep track of, and they don't take up much space. If you're working on a reading assignment or scavenger hunt, you can type up the scavenger hunter label parts of the room on the index card and move them and tape them around the room as needed. Needed. The last big one is for customizations. Teachers and students can manipulate the index card in any way they need. If they want to put pictures, if they need to put notes on there, just kind of maybe math equations. Students can set up the index card to however they might need to use them in ways that they might not be able to do so through the use of a, maybe a pencil, a colored pencils, or markers. One way I'm using index cards in Microsoft Word is to create a counting lesson for one of my students I work with. Um, he's really into dinosaurs. Uh, he's very into sharks, tigers, bears. He just loves animals. The uh, biggest thing with them, it's trying to get that interest piece across. So what I'm doing for him is creating numbers for him. My goal is to get him to count from 1 to 30. So what I've done is I've embedded numbers onto pictures of many of his favorite things he looks at on the internet. So as you can see, see here, I count 1, 2, keep going. I'm going all the way down to 30. Now, now that I'm finished creating this, what I'm going to do is print these all out into index cards put them on a ring so that an instructional assistant or myself can go through and we can have the student count each card by looking at his favorite picture. That way he can pair the number with his favorite picture. Alright, the first thing I'm going to have you do is go ahead and open up Microsoft Word. I have a newer version of Microsoft Word on my computer but much of the directions are the same in older versions of Microsoft Office. For this version and also the last version, I, I run Microsoft Office 2013. This will also work for 2010. What you're going to do is go over here to Page Layout, click on that. 
in versions older than 2010, what you'll do is go to File and then Page Setup, and you'll be able to do everything from there. Um, after that, the first thing I do is I like to change the orientation of the paper. So I'll do is a click orientation, change to landscape. As you can see, this kind of gives you more of a little bit of the index card idea. Once you go here, most Microsoft offices I've seen have an index card setting already in there. So if it's already in there, all you got to do is click here on size, scroll down until you see index card. As you can see, pre-programmed in my office, I've got 3x5s, 4x6s, and 5x8s. Now if you have any of these three settings pre-programmed in, just go ahead and click on them and you'll be able to play with your index cards however you please. Now if you don't, what you're going to do is go up to size, more paper sizes. <laughs> now right here, go ahead and you'll see width and height change your width to about four inches and your height to six inches if you want four by sixes um, you can see right here here's a, my index card if I wanted to go the other way around just switch it up six by four see I've got my index card here also if you want three by fives five by eights those are all going to be in these settings right here, and you can determine those based off whatever index cards you choose to buy. Now once you've got the size of the index card you want, you can set it up just like a Microsoft Word document. Go through and if you want to make an index card of my logo, just go ahead put my index, put my logo on the index card, put whatever you want on the, in the, on the index card. Get the little Huh? Second page. But anyhow, you can put whatever you want on the index card. So once you're ready to print, just go to File, Print, and just go ahead and print it out as is, and it'll turn it right into an index card. Thank you for checking out the Technological Educator, where we provide you with logical instruction for the technology-driven classroom. We hope you found this tutorial on creating index cards in Microsoft Word useful. Feel free to let us know how you might use index cards in your classroom. If you'd like to request additional tutorials or have questions about anything we talk about in our videos, or in general, please feel free to submit a request to us in our form located below. We hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share us with your friends.